Lexi's goal provide a little spark? How yeah. Did that, how did that, uh, you know, it, it's what you wanted to start this? Well, out. you know what, that kid's worked so hard and she's had so many ups and downs and stuff since she came here, so that's awesome she was able to get that goal, so we're extremely proud of her. Playing against a very difficult team like this, what, what can you take away and, and learn from this game? Um, you know, you, you look at the second half in terms of that kind of first 20 and we were able to press them and get after them a little bit. And so you look at that piece and, um, you know, we'll, we'll take pieces from the second half, or from, sorry, from the first half as well, where shape wasn't good and we're looking at the shape that we played in. We were so good in it last year. We thought, OK, we can we can still get pressure on the ball and still protect and, and preserve a few legs and things like that. But never worked out that way. What do you have planned off the field this weekend for the trip to New York? Probably a bunch of rest at this point. So, um, no, so we'll, we'll get them rested, we'll get them recovered, we'll go play the game on um, on Sunday, and then we'll take them into New York City on, on, on Monday and um, give them a good experience out there. How are you feeling about your numbers right now? Getting some people back, potentially? Yeah, well, well, again, I mean, right now it's, it's seeing after, at the end of a game where we sit and, and what we get from Doc and from, and from Corey as well, so. Does it give you, you know, I guess a sense of, you know, I don't know if it's hope or confidence, but you see players like Zoe still make, trying to make those shots in the last couple Listen, of Listen, kids like Zoe have had so many big moments for us in the past, and, you know, we've had so many big moments since I've been here with different pieces, and, you know, this is a kind of our first kind of blip, and, you know, so it will show our character of our team and how we work through it, and, you know, again, it's kind of a it's kind of a punch on the chin for us as a coaching staff, but we've got to do a better job as a coaching staff, performance staff, fitness, you know, um, sports science, all that piece, to make sure we prepare them the right way. Coming off two losses, you have two games before conference play. What do you want to see in, in those two games entering into Pac-12 play? A bunch of healthy players. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's it's getting us back to do what we're doing best. I mean, getting after teams, pressing teams, um, you know, getting on the ball, starting to create, trying to get more shots on goal, doing a better job defending our 18-yard box. So we'll take a look at the film. We'll see what needs to be corrected, and we'll work at it from there. This might be random. You're one of the few people from the UK that live in live yeah. in Eugene. I know it's a tough day for people around the world. Just any thoughts on, on the passing of the Queen? Yeah, I mean she was she was obviously a figurehead in the UK. I got a little bit worried when I fe I got a text from someone saying sorry for your loss, and I was I didn't actually know what had happened and stuff. So um, yeah, I mean. You know, I'm sure the country are going to money. I've not lived over there for 23, 24 years. So, um, so yeah, so I'm sure the country are going to morning. I think it's 10 days of morning or something like that that they go into and then um, King Charles next. So.